Hello, good morning viewers. Let us introduce the topic sequence and series. Let's start with sequence. What is sequence? From definition, sequence is the arrangement of numbers or objects following a well-defined order. So let us use this example to explain this statement well-defined. The numbers given to us are 1, 3, 7, 15, touch 1, and 63. But look at this statement here. It says that every member you take here, you multiply by 2, and you add 1 to the result, you shall obtain subsequent term. That is the next term. So now let us test for members at random to see whether this statement is true. Let's take this 7 right here. 7 multiplied by 2, I believe is 14. Then 14 plus 1 is equal to 15. That is true. Let us take that 1. That 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 62. And 62 plus 1 is equal to 63. Let's take 1. 1 multiplied by 2 is equal to 2. And 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. It means that this members satisfy this statement right here. And this just define what it means by this well-defined order. So every member is written in a prescribed format. So there are a few things you need to know about sequence. All members are separated by comma. And the first term there is donated by A. So let me write it. Last term, if available, is donated by L. And every member can be donated by TN. Um, let's assume we want to talk about this tattoo one. You can see this tattoo one is term number five. Therefore, we can say that tattoo one is term number five. That is T5. So having known this, let us take some examples. So here is a question which says that we should find the first four terms of a sequence given that Tn is equal to 2n plus 3. So all we have to do is to substitute the value of n equal to 1 after 4 to obtain these terms. So the first term, which is T1, will be equal to where n is equal to 1. We have 2 multiplied by 1 plus 3. And this is equal to, you can see 2 multiplied by 1 is equal to 2. And 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. Therefore, the first member of that sequence is 5. Term number 2, which is T2, will be equal to 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3. This is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4. And 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So the second member is 7. Second to the last one, because we want to find only 4, will be equal to 2 multiplied by 3 plus 3. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, and 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. Therefore, the second to the last member is 9. Then the last member, term number 4, is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 plus 3. This is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 is equal to 8. And 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. And hence, we can now write the members. The members are 5 separate by comma, 7, 9, and 11. So now let us observe this sequence carefully. You can see that from 5 to 7, we need to add 2. From 7 to 9, we also need to add 2. From 9 to 11, we need to add 2. If this is true, from 11 to the next one, if you add 2, you shall obtain that subsequent term, which is going to make it 13. So by adding 2, 2, 2, you shall obtain subsequent terms. So whenever you have a constant common difference, because the difference between every 2 is equal to 2, that sequence is said to be linear sequence or in another word we say it is arithmetic sequence so this is arithmetic sequence 
So this is just an introduction to sequence. But what is series? It is the sum of terms in a sequence. So if like now you want to add the first three terms, you say 5 plus 7 plus 9, which is equal to 23. That is said to be a series. And before I say bye bye, there is one important thing you need to know as well. A sequence can be finite and infinite. If it is finite, you can count the number of terms in that sequence. If it is infinite, there is no way you can count the members. Example, if you have a sequence 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, dot, 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 it means that there are so many members after 5, infinitely many of them. So this type of sequences are referred to as infinite sequence. And sometimes sequence can be finite. And for you to know that this is a sequence, look at the difference. From 1 to 2, we need to add 1. From 2 to 3, we need to add 1. From 3 to 4, we need to add 1 in that order. This is just a set of natural numbers. Okay. Example of a finite sequence. You have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You stop. Without adding these dot dots, it means that these sequence are countable and they are referred to as finite. So this is just an introduction. Subsequently, we shall talk about arithmetic and geometric sequences. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.